Bee Beach Dude Buddies, this is Fetter's Farmstead. My name's Tyler. We have plenty of work to do today, so let's get after it. So, this past weekend, I was sick as a dog, achy, breaky, heart, ugh, my whole body hurt. Sinuses were clogged, so me and Sarah hunkered down in the house, did what we had to do, did our chores, didn't do a whole lot extra, doubled up on my, my vitamin intake, and it's Monday morning, uh, morning didn't start off too good, but we're feeling much better, buddies. So we're gonna get after it today. We gotta go haul milk. The sun's just starting to pop, pop up. So I got a call Saturday night from the one goat goat farmer that uh, he's gonna haul milk Monday. So we gotta go haul milk. Let's get in the truck. Probably cold, cold truck. Brr. And I took Blue out of the barn. He's not on barn arrest anymore because he's bad. He jumped over that gate I just made. I don't know how in the world he did it, but he did it, you big bugger. So he was in the house all weekend, uh, since Saturday morning, because he was in the barn terrorizing the goats. It, he, he isn't aggressive towards the goats, but the goats don't want him. No, don't get near me. No, 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 no. You know, so instead of terrorizing the goats, Bring them in the house. I ordered, I ordered a new collar. I forget what it's called, but it's, it almost looks like a, uh, a the old fashioned slip collar, but it's a nylon. It's, it's different. It's, I'm kind of anxious to see if it works. I think it will. We'll see. I'm gonna, I'm, it's definitely gonna be something we keep our eye on him with for a while while he's on it at first. Hopefully he learns, but. Only time will tell. Well, I can tell this is the first load. It's only 860 gallons, all right, yeah. 860 pounds this morning. So that's like 100 gallons, a little over, not even. I guess, I guess it's worth him to pay me to get rid of it or take it over to get bottled. Ready, buddy? It's a little chilly this morning. Yesterday when I fed the feeder pigs, my uh, my water bucket was, the valve was frozen. So we're going to give it some time to warm up this morning. It's supposed to hit uh, high of 48 this afternoon. So I think we're going to wait to feed the feeder pigs till this, this afternoon so I don't have to drag water. But we can still go say good morning and hello to the other guys. Hey, beefy boy. How you doing, buddy? Morning, beef. Your nose is running, buddy. Is it cold? Come here. Your nose is running. Let me wipe your nose, buddy. Goodness. Come here. Good morning, beef. We're going to move you in with the girls today, buddy. Yeah, as soon as Sarah gets home. First day. Morning, beef. You're such a handsome boy. Okay, buddy. See you later. So, I'm going in the house. I gotta check the fire. I didn't get, have time to check the fire this morning. We gotta keep the house warm. It's like 15 degrees this morning. It was a little chilly, but... Oh, well. At least the wind died. I can take... I can take cold temperatures. But when that blustery wind blows right through you... It is hard to keep warm. I don't care what temperature it is. Now the stove's not doing real good, but it's still lit, so we're gonna let it roast. We got all our hot sauce bottles in today. So me and Sarah are soon gonna make hot sauce. We had, we had our hot sauce cooking for, not cooking, but fermenting for about the last month and a half. So it's it's good and ready. It's time to get it bottled and get labeled and get it out there for sale. So someday before Thanksgiving, cause Sarah wants the buckets out of our dining room, we're gonna make hot sauce. Last year, we made about a gallon of hot sauce, gave it away for Christmas presents and most people really liked it. Some people thought it was too hot. I thought it was too hot. I thought it could have more flavor but that's me so we're gonna try again we're gonna hopefully make it better this year 
and try to sell some put it in the roadside stand so oh well we're outside we're gonna go feed animals let's go hey you guys are eating real good mom lets you eat jenny pig are you wolfing it down i was usually feeding ginger in these pans but it seemed like the piglets couldn't get to it so i just threw it on the ground and they ate pretty good now they're not gonna they're gonna make me look like a liar come over here guys i threw hay in here yesterday afternoon we were worried they were a little low on some hay but looks pretty good she spread it out so they can bur burrow in it and tunnel in it and Ain't you little cuties. One more update. Old Hopalong's still kicking. She she's still getting around. I've been feeding her feeding her wet pig feed. The guineas were <laughs> always like the wet pig feed, so she has her little her little house. Let me give her wet pig feed so she stays well hydrated and she's getting better. So that's the guinea update. Mavis is looking for her sweet feed, but she's getting too spoiled. Hank, you spoiled booger. You want sweet feed. Alright, I'll give you I'll give you a half a scoop and I'll give the little ones a half a scoop. You ain't getting the whole scoop, you big heifer. Okay, May May, can I do this one-handed? Is that about a half a scoop? You big heifer, there you go. Half a scoop. Lip smacking good. Here, little ones. Oh, you got hay in yours. Let me get the hay out. Now we'll put the sweet feet in. Get your nose back, you heifer. Mabel, you can't eat that way. Put your head back, get your head back, get your head back, get your head back, get your head back. Mabel, get your head out. Mabel, Mabel, you're a pain in here too. Figure it out, there you go, good goat, good goat. I think, so there's everybody fed this morning at least over here at the barn like i said i'm not going to go feed the feeder pigs till this afternoon that's what i've been doing waiting for it to warm up so that uh, water tank the valve works properly gets a little frozen a little stuck so it's going to be i'm going to have to start hauling water over so it is what it is as long as we don't get too much snow it'll be okay i'll be able to do it with the zero turn mower and just like that no rest for the weary buddy dave just dropped off two tires to change for his trailer i gotta get in the truck and go i'll have to do that tomorrow or tonight maybe the next day told him i'll get to it but it ain't gonna be today Got a digital dash. He went with brown and tan leather. Looks really good. See? They ain't very roomy. This would be a single seater for me. Rubber wheels. This brakes. Typical Amish carriage shop. Got the nice tractor parked inside so nobody can see it. Big Matt. Quit taking pictures of the tractor. Right? I'm more interested in the tractor than I am your carriage. I've seen your carriage. It's a carriage. This is a nice tractor, even if, even if it is a red one. Well, Got it home safe and sound regardless. The blue, the blue interior lights. 
Yeah. What a kid. Airbag suspension. Torsion bar axles. Man, this thing is nice, Matt. You got all the bells and whistles. Is this the last carriage you're ever going to buy? That. You in Marilyn. Where's the boom box go, Matt? I wish people don't do boom box. <laughs> <laughs> the base. When I was when I was younger, I remember going to the bowling alley. And I remember the buggies rolling in with all their blue lights flashing their neons and the bumps just boom, 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 carriages rocking. These kids come in, drink beers, play pool, play bowling bunch of young kids now those guys are old married married farts yelling at you kids for doing dumb stuff imagine that well just like that today's shot it's dark i can't do nothing outside oh well I didn't get nothing done today so gotta go feed the pigs in the dark see how they're doing check the fire and relax so tomorrow's another day we'll wait for the sunshine see you love you bye see you in the wash keep it on the sunny side <laughs>